Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Max Fisher here from A Better Universe. It's uh, shaping up to be a pretty nice spring day. It's getting warm out. I'm starting to love the weather. I'm sure you guys all are. The winter was uh, a little long, so as it always feels, it is. So uh, it's nice to have a little bit of sun to soak in, give you some extra energy, some extra daylight, all that good stuff. It's another Motivation Monday, guys. Um, last Friday, we talked about optimizing your workspace, optimizing your um, you know, your personal space, your yoga space, your inner space, whatever it is, just so you can cut out the distractions and such. And uh, I, we talked about maybe uh, optimizing your time on the computer, optimizing the time on your, your phone, which is really more uh, ideal topic to talk about, I think, because not everyone's on a computer these days. A lot of people are, uh, you know, doing other forms of work and such. But everybody, just about everybody's got a phone on the, you know, internet on their phone. And uh, how you use your phone is a big part of your life nowadays. You know, some people who can't even go 20, 30 minutes without, you know, checking their phone for a text message or a notification from Facebook or something like that. So in that effort, I want to really, you know, talk about how your phone can either make you or break you. It's, uh, I mean, and it ties in with your computer, but I feel like having something that's right at your side in your pocket that buzzes, notifies you, makes an audible sound when these things are happening to give you, you know, this notification. That is a pattern interrupt. That is crushing your, uh, your ability to focus and it is uh, making distractions way more prevalent in your day. So in that aspect, let's talk a little bit about that. What, what do you do? What do you, how do you optimize your time on your phone? How do you cut out the distraction of your phone? Well, one of the best ways that I found out is to turn off notifications, turn off, um, turn off the uh, the lock screen notifications, turn off, you know, make it so it's silent. You don't hear the, you don't have a vibration, you don't have a sound noise or whatever. The only way you can find out is if you have a notification. If you turn your phone on, you know, unlock it or whatever, and then you'll have the the little tags next to whatever app it is, your messenger, your Facebook, whatever. So it's because that, that causes a pattern interrupt. Just that sound, that sound that you associate with a text message gives you a certain chemical reaction in your brain. That's almost actually like a satisfying, you know, we have that, it's like a validation for people almost to have that notification that somebody's, you know, been uh, looked at their, liked their uh, post on Facebook. It's a or uh, sent them a text message. It's a certain kind of validation for the inner self that people are striving and looking for when they're looking for this. So if you take that out, if you set aside certain times in the day, say, you know, at four o'clock in the afternoon and at seven o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna look at Facebook, look at my emails, look at my text messages on my phone and not pick my phone back up for that exact reason until uh, the next time during the day. So. That's one way to optimize. I understand a lot of people don't even have the willpower to do that. A lot of people feel so attached to their phone that they don't they don't know how to separate themselves from it for that long. So uh, that's why I'm saying that um, you know try and cut back if you got to. Try and set certain times in the day to uh, you know check your phone, check your email, check your Facebook, check your Twitter, check your Instagram, check your Snapchat, all those things. Because if you don't, you're going to be so involved and looking for that validation that uh, you're not going to be able to get enough done for yourself. And part of that um, that goes along with this is not looking for validation, not looking to be so obsessed with what you're doing that what other people are doing and what other people think about what you're doing doesn't really matter to you. I mean... Don't get me wrong, there's always that, like, there's a, a certain sense of, um, a certain feeling. It, it feels good to have people validate you, to um, agree with what you're saying, or, you know, like it, or think it's funny, or whatever, you know, emotional reaction you're looking for. There's a certain kind of, you know, good sense of feeling that gives you, but all in all, you shouldn't be, you know, scouring Facebook for validation. You shouldn't be putting up things just to see if you can get more post likes. You shouldn't be, you know scrolling through and seeing what everyone else is doing and putting that at a higher concern than what you need to be doing to make your life a better place. And then on top of that, further past um, 
you know, your validation and your text messages and your Facebook notifications, just surfing the web in general. We need to take more conscious effort in what we're surfing for because on the internet you can find anything you want. You can find the lowest of the low, you can find the crap, you can find the, you know, the violence, the protests, the fake news, the, you know, political propaganda, the Syrian attacks, the, you know, big mega bomb they dropped, you can find all of that. And uh, on the other side, you can find, you know, law of attraction, successful uh, people giving you their ideas and philosophies on how they made it. You can find um, meditation techniques. You can find yoga. You can find any kind of workout that you want. You can build. Uh, you can build an engine from scratch. Probably you can find out how to do anything. Build a house. Become a carpenter. Become a welder. Uh, I mean, there's enough information online that you could become you could probably get your bachelor's degree in a couple years time just from reading on any subject that you f feel passionate about it's there's a wealth of information but the problem is people tend to use their free time and their downtime and they're bored under this hypnotic spell of boredom and they start doing that shit like playing fucking candy crush and uh really not optimizing their time on their phone and on the internet and uh, optimizing, they're not really optimizing their time in life and uh, life is short so it's it's important to do things that matter to you at all times because if you are just doing things to take up time and waste time then you're living a pretty meaningless life and at the end of this you're going to be wondering what the fuck you were doing on your phone all this time when you're you know, when you wish you could have done all these other things, especially in your youth, you know, if you're young, if you're vibrant, if you're, you know, if you're, the uh, time hasn't played age on your body yet, you have an abundance amount of energy and excess, you know, you always hear people when they get older, they talk about how, they, you know, it, it starts to drain, you know, life does wear on you, your body does, you know, eventually break down, but if you've got this opportunity now, you don't spend it on your phone, guys, come on. Look how beautiful it out is out today. I mean, get out here, enjoy it. Just take in a smile, take in, do some yoga outside, do some calisthenics outside, do some whatever outside, lift, run, jump, swim, whatever you guys gotta do. I mean, this is, this is a beautiful opportunity and one of the best ways to optimize your time on the phone or on the internet is to not use it at all because realistically, what you're, what your uh, whatever you learn on the internet has to have a certain applicable value. If you don't, if you're not applying that knowledge, it's not really you know it, but you don't you don't utilize it. You don't fully understand and grasp it if you haven't applied it. So that's part of it. You got to set the phone down to optimize your your life and your time on the internet. You got to actually set the internet, set the phone aside, and go out and apply what you've learned, and uh, take full advantage of that every day. That's uh, that, that's how you really truly start moving forward. It, it's a certain amount of action. You can learn all you want, but uh, it's never gonna bring you any farther forward. You might be able to, you know, have some speeches, have some talks, have some words uh, that'll influence people in the right direction. But if you're not applying the knowledge, then you, I don't feel like you can truly grasp it and uh, explain it in a manner that um, most people will understand because you don't have that fundamental, um, it's not ingrained at a fundamental level for you to be able to speak so naturally on it. So, after all that said, uh, another beautiful day, like I said, and this is uh, Max Fisher from A Better Universe. It's your Motivation Monday. I want you to go, guys, and optimize your time on whatever form of social media or internet that you're using. Make sure that you're using the best of the best you're not wasting time because you've only got so many of these minutes and it's a lot fewer than you think so and all that I'd like to uh, wish you guys a, a happy Monday go after and get it the uh, 60 day challenge is you know slowly starting to come to an end we still got some time left to make the changes and get after whatever goals you got Maybe you're a little behind, maybe you're a little bit ahead, either way. 
Um, don't don't get discouraged if you're behind, and don't get too big of an ego if you're ahead. This is a, a constant process because as soon as we set this 60-day challenge ahead, down, and you know we've got after it, the 60 days has gone by. Those of you that are ahead might you know take a little lax to your life and say you know I accomplished this in this amount of time now it's time to rest. You're wrong. No. You still have to go after it. And those of you guys that fell behind, maybe you're thinking, oh, I've tried this, I'm tired, I'm done. I'm done with this. I, don't, I, I gave it all I got for 60 days. No, guys, you guys can't give up. You have to keep going. That This 60 days is, you know, it's another change period, another change period. That's all we keep trying to do is build the habits, build the discipline, build the neural pathways in our brain to make us, you know, that ultimate version of ourself, that highest version, that highest vision. Um, so in that aspect I want you guys to just keep going no matter what if you're ahead behind no matter where you are in your goals just keep striving keep pushing forward keep hammering it down after this 60 days we're gonna do a 30 day sprint challenge after that 30 day sprint we might do a 90 uh, 90 day home run hit see if we can't really you know put the knuckles to the grind and uh, make some change happen and then after that we might do another 60 day I'm not I haven't looked that far ahead but um, it's important to know that this is process doesn't stop after the 60 days it doesn't stop after you fail the first time it doesn't stop after you reach your fourth or fifth goal it's constant life is a growing process change is uh, inevitable it's always going to happen but it's your choice whether it's good or bad all right I've rambled on long enough. Uh, this is Max Fisher from A Better Universe, your mind-body-spirit connection. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.